Hello everyone, my name is Val and welcome back to my channel. I apologize for my voice, but I'm not 100% back to normal self, so please forgive me for sounding like a broken radio. In today's video, I will show you my new PPT lesson, my clothes, designed for grade 1 students. In this lesson, students learn six items of clothing shirt, t-shirt, dress, skirt, trousers, and shoes in conjunction with the following dialogue. What do you have? I have a skirt or I have shoes. You will see how I scaffold this lesson and how I achieve my language objectives. This PPT lesson is available for sale in my store on Teachers Pay Teachers. To download it, please follow the link above or click on the link in the description below the video. Before you watch the walkthrough, I'd like to give a shout out to my patrons, Martina and Peter. Thank you for your undying support. Thank you, guys. Also, if you like what you see here, please like and subscribe. Your likes help me grow my channel. You know what helps me even more? You smashing that bell icon to turn the notifications on. Thank you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Let's take a good look at this PowerPoint lesson. I am going to skip uh, the class rules and my warm-up routine and I'm going to dive right into the lesson. We start with new words. So first you display the word. You can do it on your PPT or you can also have a few flashcards ready and you can put a flashcard uh, on your blackboard. So first you show them the flashcard or the um, uh, picture on your PowerPoint uh, slide and then you try to elicit this from the students. Here in this PowerPoint, if you click on this blue icon, you'll be able to listen to the word. Um, let me show you. So if I click on it, you are going to hear the word, but it's just an option in your lesson. You can just say it by yourself. Then you can uh, click next and then you can show the word. Also, it's best if you combine it with a TPR action. Let me show you one more. Shirt, shirt. You can click to listen and then you display the word. Let me show you what it may look like in the classroom. So let's learn some new words. What is this? T-shirt. 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 Everyone. T-shirt. T-shirt. That's right. That's right. Here we go. T-shirt. T-shirt! 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 What is this? No. Coat! 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 Everyone, everyone, coat! Coat! That's right, there it is. Coat. Okay, what is this? Take a look at this word. Uh, these are trousers. Now, how do we teach singular and plural? Because in some languages, singular and plural nouns are a non-existent concept, like in uh, Chinese language. Um, it's a non-existent concept. 
There are no singular or plural nouns in Chinese language. So how do we explain it to our students? This is how I do it in my class. So um, I draw the student's attention to the letter S. And then I ask them, how many legs do we have? We have two legs. How many legs do trousers have? Trousers have two legs. One, two. So since we have two legs, we add the letter S. Trousers. Here is another word. Shoes. Same thing. We add an S because how many shoes do we have here? We have two shoes because we have two legs. This way students understand why we add an S um, to the noun in this case. First exercise. What's behind the curtain? In this exercise, you want to invite a student from each team. Then you are going to reveal um, slowly a picture and they need to guess what it is. This way they um, drill the vocabulary that you have just taught them. So let's take a look. If I click next, um, the picture is going to reveal itself slowly and the first student who says the word correctly gets a point for their team. So in this case, it's a shirt. Let me show you one more. You invite again a student from each team. You ask them, are you ready? Are you ready? And then you click next. So whoever guesses it first gets a point. What is it? Did you get it? Yes, that's right. It is a skirt. Well done. And you play it until the end of the activity. Sentences. In this part of the lesson, you introduce a sentence structure. And I always, always combine it with a TPR action. So for I, I show this I, or you can do this I. And for have, I have this half, half, I have. That's what you do. And we drill sentence structures. I have a t-shirt. So here you show them that a or a means one. It's important for them to understand that. Okay, uh, here's one more. I have a shirt. And Look, when you get to the plural noun, I have trousers. Look how I do it here. I have, and then you ask, do we have one leg or two legs? And they're going to say two legs. So that means we cannot say a, uh, because it's not one leg, it's two legs. That's why we say, I have trousers. And you do the same for shoes. I have shoes. We don't say a eh here. All right. Next, you need to reinforce the sentence structure. So you play a simple game called Sparkle. How do we play it? Arrange everyone in a circle or a line, standing up and facing the same direction. The first student in the line says the first word in the sentence. The second student says the second word, and this pattern continues until the target sentence is fully set. 
after the last word in the sentence has been said, the next person must say sparkle, or you can say any other word. The player next to the person who said sparkle must sit down. The game continues until one student is left standing who is the winner. Let's take a look. So let's say you invite six students. Of course, you can invite more students uh, to play this game. And here is your target sentence. I have a t-shirt. So uh, here's how we play. The first student says, I have a t-shirt, sparkle. And the next student sits down. Then we have five students left and you change the um, word in a sentence. I have a dress, for example. And it goes, I have a dress, sparkle. And the student next to that student goes back to uh, their seat. Next one, next word, I have a shirt, sparkle. The student goes back to the seat. We have three students left. I have shoes, sparkle. Two students left. And finally, I have a skirt, sparkle. And the winner gets five points. Dialogue practice. So here you introduce the question what do you have remember to do it together with a tpr action because it helps them to fix the words in their long-term memory okay now question <clears throat> what what do you have again what do you have what do you have you can uh for example they can ask you the question together with the tpr and you give them an answer i have a dress or you can add, you ask them the question and then they answer what do you have i have a skirt what do you have i have shoes and so on so you drill this until um, the end of the exercise and then you finish your lesson with a fun game which I call Find Mickey. Explain the game. Mickey is lost, but you can find him. Uh, find Mickey's friends. We have uh, the princess, we have Pluto, we have the cat. Uh, if they can find these characters, they get three points. If they find Mickey, they get five points. If they find Mr. Monster, they lose five points. So, uh, you need to write down this dialogue on the board for everyone to see. And then, to play this game, you need to invite a pair of students from each team which need to act out the dialogue. One student asks the question, what do you have? And the other one answers. If you have this dialogue on the board, if you have all the flashcards um, on the board, it's easy for the students to follow. And this is how you do it. So let's say you invite a pair of students from one team and the student, the first student asks the question, what do you have? The, uh, the other one looks at the uh, pictures and then chooses one. So, for example, he or she picks a shirt and he or she says, I have a shirt. So, after they acted out the dialogue, you click on this box to reveal an image. So, I click on the box and ta-da, we have... Uh, the Princess Jasmine, yeah? So, which means uh, this team gets two points. Okay, and then you invite uh, the next pair of students from the other team, right? So, the same thing. They act, uh, uh, they act out the dialogue. What do you have? Let's say, I have a dress. You click on the box to reveal an image. Pluto, they have two points uh, for their team. 
and you play until the end of the lesson. It's a fun game, they really like it, and uh, it also serves a great purpose. They practice dialogue. And also you can do it in pairs, you can do it you know, uh, with the whole class, you can do pair work. It's really up to you how you wanna do it. So let's take a look at this uh, boxes. If I click here, we have a Pluto. Uh, here's nothing. Here we have Mickey, five points. And here we have the cat, two points. So we play this way until the end. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please take care of yourself and don't get sick. Don't follow my example. Thank you guys.